bending with one or two folding beams. Some up-down folding machines have one folding beam, others have two folding beams. Which applications require one design and which require the other? Let's begin with machines with one folding beam. When changing bending direction, the folding beam must bypass already formed phalanges. Here, the free move axis allows the folding beam to back away from the phalange. Next, the folding beam moves downward, pivots upwards, and offsets the pendulum to the other side the tooling edge once it reaches the upper home position. Negative phalanges can be bent from here. The extent to which a form geometry may protrude from the bending line during a folding direction change is determined by the maximum possible free move movement from the folding beam. This approach is ideal for bending four-sided boxes. With these kinds of parts, the bending direction almost always changes in the upper part of the panel, followed by a long flange, which closes the box. In all these cases, the free-moving capability of the folding beam does not need to be extremely large, even to bend deep enclosures. Machines with only one folding beam are also suitable for bending many profile types. With a trapezoidal profile, the first bends are still quite feasible. The folding beam bypasses the protruding flanges with every bending direction change. At a certain point, however, the free move capabilities of the folding beam are no longer sufficient. Fortunately, the intelligence of the Bendex programming software recommends that the part be flipped so the bending sequence can still be successfully completed. Frequently changing bending directions is a trait often found in profiles used in the metal roofing sector. Here, visible profiles mostly utilize thinner material types. For these applications, there are machines made with two folding beams. The lower folding beam bends positive phalanges. The upper folding beam bends negative phalanges. This eliminates the need to bypass already formed phalanges. If we again use the trapezoidal profile, we see the difference in the bending process. The two folding beams approach the sheet metal and bend it up and down. If one of the beams is not needed, it moves to its home position. Grippers hold and position the blank. In this way, the trapezoidal profile can be bent automatically without the need for an operator to flip the blank. Let's take a look at the actual application. Here, you can clearly see the approach of the bending beam, the positive and negative bending, and the return to the home position in order to create free space for the other bending beam and the formed part. When in the home position, each folding beam is placed close to the clamping beam. Through this additional free space, profiles can be bent that protrude far back beyond the bending line. This is another common characteristic found in metal roofing profiles. Up-down bending with one or two folding beams, the right choice for every application.